lecture name is forms of waste the subtopics which i intend to cover are waste generation their forms and when we talk about the forms there are two types of the forms that is hazardous waste and non hazardous waste some examples of these waste and what is the difference between these types of the waste as the differences and today's lecture i'll try to emphasize that why characterization of waste becomes important but i think you'll appreciate the point that characterization is important so that you can utilize the waste properly you can reuse it properly if you want you can recycle it properly and if you want to recover some precious materials then you can recover from the waste so this is where the characterization of the waste or the geomaterial becomes very important so next lecture onwards i will switch over to the characterization of material and when we say material it will be including both geomaterials as well as the waste so let's go ahead with the today's lecture so the first question is how waste is generated so basically generation of waste depends upon the source of generation is it not some type of waste they may degrade into harmless products so there is no challenge posed by them but the biggest challenge is if waste do not get degraded over a period of time and that is where you need to handle them carefully and properly so the first category is that uh, some of the waste may degrade into harmless products however majority of the waste may be non degradable and they could be hazardous and most important is that there could be some cumulative effect related to detriment uh, detrimental effects or deterioration of the environment in the due course of time so this is where actually our role becomes important when we deal with the waste which are non degradable but hazardous and which may have long lasting effects on the environment so depending upon the type of process which you are adopting at the industry you may end up producing either solid form of the waste liquid form of the waste or gases or the sludges now sludges may include solid liquid and gases all together so most of the time the challenge is to deal with uh, the sludges which are coming out of uh, all activities industrial activities is it not in day to day life also a single activity like let's say if you take bath in the morning or any household utility which you are going through uh, the you produce lot of sludge so it may become very important to deal with the type of sludge which you are generating either at the domestic level or at the industrial level so as geotechnical engineers we have been quite comfortable and we have been quite you know uh, equipped well with the handling solid waste and sludges we have not talked much in details about the liquids and the gases but a good example of uh, the system where all these combinations may occur would be a landfill so landfill becomes a very challenging problem particularly to geotechnical engineers so you dump the solid waste and this solid waste may deteriorate further or decompose or degrade and then the formation of liquid or the leachates may take place sometimes these leachates or the liquids may evaporate they may form gases or there could be some process by which you have to take care of the type of waste which you are generating in the landfills and so on so this is a basic summary of uh, how waste is generated depending upon the source of generation so intensity of the waste or when we talk about the toxicity of the waste maybe after few lectures we'll be talking about characterization of the waste and that's where we will try to see what are the parameters or attributes which can be assigned to waste to classify them in some category 
So, there are some attributes associated to the waste which we will be using later on, but to start with I think this information should be good enough to understand what a waste is. So, the waste generation is a process which is basically dependent on the source and if these are harmless products there is no problem, but non-degradable wastes are going to pose lot of challenge and their cumulative effect would be very difficult to handle. So, what are the waste forms? The waste forms are we have talked about solid sludge which is nothing but the semi solid liquid or gaseous or a combination of these and it will depend upon the source of contamination and contaminants. So, this is where it is again very prudent to define what is meant by a contaminant. So, in one of the lectures I would try my best to give you some definitions about the contaminants and contamination process. There are few definitions which are associated with this whole uh, discussion. So, this is the nature of the scientists they do not come up with you know uniform code of conduct. So, there are a lot of definitions which are available. So, several definitions and the inter interpretations are available to define a waste. So, if we go by UNEP that is United Nations Environment Program, this is the definition which has been used to define the waste. So, waste other than radioactive waste which by reason of their chemical reactivity or toxic, explosive, corrosive or other characteristics. So, some of the attributes of a material which makes it a waste are chemical reactivity, toxicity, explosive nature, corrosive nature and other characteristics which may cause danger or likely to cause danger to health or the environment whether alone or coming in contact with other waste. So, this is where the interaction process becomes important alright. So, one waste may remain passive in its original form, but when it comes in contact with some other phase of the material it may become very hazardous. So, these type of waste are legally defined hazardous in the state in which they are generated or in which they are disposed of or through which they are transported. It is a very complicated definition, but of course, it covers most of the attributes of the material which will classify this as a waste all right. I will talk about uh, these attributes later on as I said, but this just to introduce you a few definitions where most of the activities have been defined. So, what is the waste, how it becomes so important and then how would you classify this as a uh, waste which is of you know threat to the mankind or animals. So, this process is also very important. So, they are legally defined hazardous in the state in which they are generated or in which they are disposed of or through which they are transported. In continuation with the definitions given by other people, organizations. So, waste are the materials which are inherently dangerous to the human body or to animals. This is a simple definition. Anything which is dangerous to human body or animals is a waste material, including but not limited to materials that are toxic or poisonous. So, this is one of the attributes. They are basically irritants. So, you are passing through a fish market, what do you feel? What is the first reaction? Yes, exactly, you close your nose or is it not? So, that means the smell which is coming out is not very conducive, it is a irritation, it is a sort of a. You go stand near industry where the petroleum products are being refined or sulfuric acid is being produced or acids are being produced, how do you feel like on your skin? Irritation. So, at attribute is that they are basically irritants. Now, irritation could be related to skin, to observations, feelings, is it not? By seeing something you may 
feel you know very low mood so that's also i written seeing a person for an example <laughs> so you may say that how would you classify the person is of no use so waste <laughs> then strong sensitizers what is meant meant by sensitizers sensations i don't know you must have felt that uh, you are allergic to few things so sensitization is nothing but you feel you know you get sensitized so this is another attribute they are flammable so the waste which normally we talk about they are flammable so you think of a situation where in a landfill you are dumping waste which include hydrocarbons and suppose you are not segregating them at the point of discharge so mixed together if this waste comes to the landfill what will happen during very high temperatures particularly in summers when most of the part of the country attains temperatures of the order of 46 to 51 degree centigrade so this is where actually flammable property of the material becomes very important so you have to be very extra cautious when you are dumping this type of waste in the landfill so flammable becomes another attribute explosive nature that is they generate power through decomposition heat or by other means so okay so this is another attribute of uh, the waste which makes them explosive in nature so what is the biggest challenge by putting these attributes together can you think of the challenge which our profession is facing the chemical waste which is coming of the industry could be flammable and could be explosive and most of the landfills are within the limits of the city or slightly away from the limits of the city so by any chance if you are dumping the waste which contains everything together you know what's going to happen so you are creating a volcanoes within the city so this is becoming a very serious issue so they generate power basically this power is nothing but the heat or sound through decomposition heat or by some other means this is another trait of the waste material that is it is infectious so anything which may be infectious to you is also a waste material you like to throw it away and so that you can be safe against you know getting uh, contracted by the diseases so this represents a potential source for transmission of diseases to human domestic animals or wildlife radioactive so there is another trait which is associated with the material which are classified as waste materials that is any component of radioactivity which is associated with the waste will also cause problems or hazard so that means any substance which contains sufficient amount of radioactivity will also be considered as a waste material pesticides so most of the agricultural activities these days are revolving around pesticides and fertilizers so excessive application of pesticides and manure or the fertilizers is also becoming a very big challenge so some of the definitions which uh, i like to continue is, is that the waste from commercial or trade companies which due to their nature composition or quantities are especially hazardous to human health air or water or are explosive flammable or may cause diseases so they all fall in the category of waste hazardous waste are those waste which due to their nature and quantity are potentially hazardous to human health and or the environment and require special disposal techniques to eliminate or reduce the hazard 
so most of the people who are working in waste management they have to read these lines very carefully requiring a special disposal techniques so can you name any special disposal technique which is being adopted presently by our professionals is banned by the way you are not supposed to dispose it's a simple thing which i am asking any special disposal technique landfill itself is a special disposal technique is it not so it could be engineered landfill or it could be ordinary landfill non engineered landfills so idea is you dispose of something cover it and forget about it but now present day society cannot afford to forget about it that is where actually the geotechnics starts so that's where actually the concern is how to deal with the waste how to tackle with it even if you dispose it in the soil mass or below you bury it how to forget about it so that it does not face and you don't face any challenge in the days to come so if you read this again you'll notice that it requires a special disposal techniques to eliminate or reduce the hazard the best scenario would have been if you can eliminate the hazard but truly speaking is very difficult so what is that you will tend to do you reduce the intensity of the hazard so this is how you negotiate with the problem and try to come with a solution which is the most optimal solution so waste is the one that may cause or significantly contribute to serious illness or death or that poses a substantial threat to human health or the environment when improperly managed so you will notice that uh, these words are very important actually improper management of the waste which is coming out of the industry and what is that you are trying to do is or one should try to do is how to eliminate and reduce the hazardicity of the waste by some special techniques so this is where the entire waste management scenario or the technique strategies have been formed and there are a lot of codes which you have to comply with so waste is any substance for which the owner or generator has no further use and which is discarded but it should not be discarded in others courtyards <laughs> so the common tendency is that in cities and other places they clean their houses and whatever comes out where it is disposed in front of the house on the road so houses are clean but the cities are dirty all right so this is what uh, requires education and enforcement let's talk about the types of waste so there are two types non hazardous waste and hazardous waste so under non hazardous category we say municipal waste and industrial non hazardous waste hazardous waste industrial mostly can you give some example of municipal non hazardous waste okay yes it's not very hazardous that's right industrial non hazardous waste flash how would you characterize flash as a hazardous waste or non hazardous waste so some are saying hazardous some are saying non hazardous why it is hazardous that's right correct why you are saying non hazardous it's not stored anywhere how much is being used of not more than 5% okay we'll talk about these sub issues slightly later all industrial activities basically generate mostly hazardous waste so this question which i am asking you how would you say something is hazardous something is non hazardous so there is a full gazette on this and that gazette is basically given by resource conservation and recovery act rcra 
so those of you who may like to go for your own industries after a few years you have to master this first rcra you have to understand the activity which you are going to get involved with and how to deal with that unless you understand this act you cannot get clearance from the environmental bodies statutory bodies environmental boards and so on conservation board and so on so basically what this act talks about any guess recovery comes much later the first is resource, resource conservation what is the resource which you want to conserve characterization comes much later the first thing is resource conservation what are the resources which you want to conserve water land water land minerals air everything clear so the first issue which it tackles is how to conserve the resources which you have and then how to recover something which has fallen in the matrix of waste so this is where actually i have used the word matrix matrix is very important what is your understanding about the word matrix of the waste complexity of the waste when you say soil matrix have you heard this term i'm not talking about the mat matrix which you used in mathematics what how do you define matrix of soil that's right so mixture of different constituents clear so when we say matrix of waste what is the meaning of this there are different constituents in the waste which may exhibit different characteristics now what is of most important to you which may come out of the waste and start contaminating the geo environment so the waste matrix is the matrix where all potential candidates which may leach out into the environment are sitting clear now how do you differentiate between what component of the matrix is going to be hazardous and non hazardous so common sense says the one which is more active is going to be hazardous one which is passive is going to be non hazardous this is a one way to understand how non hazardous and hazardous waste have been classified and grouped together that means the potential of the of the species is another word which normally uh, geotechnologists will use when they deal with the waste management system so the species which come out of the waste matrix which are potential threat to the geo environment so this is a statement normally which is put up so species means it could be species of chemicals species of radioactive material it could be the biomaterial and so on and which has a tendency to leach out from the matrix of the waste and propagate into the system or migrate into the system 